How's it going everyone? Welcome back to Kerbal Space Program. Today, I am going to attempt to build a cargo plane. Now, this is a challenge dripped up by one of you guys uh, that was to build an Airbus. And I looked up what an Airbus was because I've heard of them before but I had to kind of refresh my memory on what they look like. And when I looked up a picture of one, this picture came up. And I just thought instantly, okay, that's the type of Airbus I want to make. I believe this is sort of their cargo version. I don't know if how many of these things actually exist, but they're used to transport, like, massive cargo. I mean, in the top of it, which sort of opens up, that's why it sort of looks like some weird animal, uh, <laughs> you can actually put, like, planes and stuff in them. Like, that's where they carry all other planes and stuff. And I thought that that would be the best idea ever, to build that and actually have a plane inside it and take off a plane from inside that cargo bay. So while the plane's flying, launch a plane out of the front of it. Now, I don't know how well this is gonna go, probably absolutely terribly, like most of my challenges, but you guys know that by now. So yeah, let's try this. <laughs> so I think we're gonna start with something like this. Either this or this. I don't know what one's probably better. I think we'll go with this for now. So what we're going to do is we're going to have this, build its main fuselage out, and then we're actually going to make this bigger. That's also something we're going to do. We're going to make that bigger. Why? Because I plan to put this thing on top of it. Where was it? Oh, you're going to have to bear with me because I have no idea where it is. Aha! Here it is. Is this it? I think this is it. Yeah, this is it. This thing. And what I could do is like flip it up this way, upside down, so it sort of opens up like that. And have that just sort of sitting on top. Yeah, that's what I want to try and do. Now, this thing is going to end up being massive, I think. Mainly because I just want to make it huge. That's probably the biggest reason it's going to end up massive. Um, and I've also learned a few other things from you guys, which I was never told before. And I've now finally been told about it. The fact is, I've forever built my crafts with these things in the wrong places. This should be slightly in front of this. Not behind it, which is what I've always been doing. I should have the center of lift slightly in front of the center of mass. Which is something I was never doing before, at least I wasn't doing it knowingly. I was always purposely doing it the opposite way. So I know that now, and it made complete sense when someone told me it, and I felt like a complete knob. <laughs> Aha! Oh yes! Oh dear god, this plane is gonna be massive! <laughs> oh my god. It's, this should be relatively easy to build. Oh, and by the way, I've got this mod installed, which I believe is Infernal Robotics. I think that was the name of it. It's a mod that I'm not going to be using in this video. I've got it installed because I want to learn how to use it before I try and make a challenge on it. Otherwise, I will look completely stupid. And I'm I'm not that dumb. I'm just, I'm just a bit dumb when it comes to this. I would love to know how this thing flies. Because in the picture, it only has two engines. They must be the most ridiculous engines in the world. Literally two. Two! That's all it has. I'm going to need like a million. I've only just noticed that. <laughs> well, hey, at least the wings are big enough. Look at these. Okay, so we're going to test that theory of the wings being in front of the center of mass. Because it does make sense. It means that it will lift up more. Oh my god, this looks like a fighter plane. Oh, this looks cool now. Can I add, like, liquid fuel into these? I can actually add liquid fuel to the wings. Ooh. I'm not going to, but I can. Good to know. Okay, this hands down goes as one of the weirdest things I've ever built. <laughs> it's so strange. I don't know. I don't know what weighs what. It's so weird. I've also got two cargo bay doors, which could be absolutely catastrophic. But that's sort of how it's shaped. It sort of, like, it sort of just curves up and curves back down again. It looks, per it looks perfectly fine in the shadow, but it's because you can't see this bit. It does look cool, though. I like it. I want to see if it works. Now, the problem with building a plane inside this thing is simply the fact, is it going to fit? Probably not. But if I somehow manage to work out this infernal robotic stuff, I may be able to do it anyways. Because I might be able to have wings that fold up. And then have it drive out, and as it drives out and falls away, then the wings open up, and then it turns into a plane. That will be so awesome if it works. It won't work, because it's me building it. Now, 
These are the sort of engines I imagine... Like, these are perfect. These look the part. However, I don't know. Oh, these are actually meant for this. Oh. Okay. Now, that looks right. The engines are very low down on this thing. I hope that's correct. Um... <laughs> I'm scared. I'm scared to fly this thing. It just it looks it looks like it will work though. That's one thing. However, the center of mass is massively in front of the center of lift, which is wrong. Isn't it? It is wrong. Um how do I fix that? These have no fuel in them. Well, of course neither do these. But we'll go with it anyway. We'll see what happens. <laughs> and we'll Come back and fix it if need be. Okay, so we need to add just some mounts now for the engines. Or well, not the engines, the wheels, and then we're good. Oh god. Is it bad that I'm scared to fly this thing? Oh god. This thing's huge. I'm terrified. <laughs> it's probably all just gonna go kaboom, clatter, clatter, clatter when I set off, ain't it? Ooh! No? Yeah, I think we're good. Those lot look worried. As you should be. Oh my god. What am I looking at? Hi. Ain't we in a plane? Why does it look like that? Oh, is it? Oh, I think I know why. It's because I made it larger, isn't it? Ah, yes, that makes sense. Okay. Um. Let's go, I guess. <laughs> oh my god, these engines are powerful. Whoa! I've still got all these Kerbal stickers over it. I need to get rid of these ones off at least. Oh, we're wobbling! We're wobbling! Why are we wobbling? Why are we wobbling? Oh, it's SAS that's doing it. Fuck you, SAS. Oh, that didn't go well. Okay, so after that absolute catastrophic failure, I think it was the wheels. I think the wheels were hitting the flaps, which were causing it to explode. And we would... <gasps> Oh god. Oh yeah, that isn't actually connected. That's a, that's not connected to that. It looks like it is. Uh, but it's not. Ah. Let's just see if this thing goes and works. Oh god! Uh oh. Uh oh. Bad things. Bad. Bad. What's happened to that? Bad, 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 bad. Bad, 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 bad. Oh, it's wobbly. It's really wobbly. No good. <laughs> we're up! Oh my god, we're up! I weren't talking! I wasn't talking because I didn't think this was going to work! How is this working? How? Oh god! I, all I did was remove the flaps because the wings were basically just bending upwards and then just snapping. But it works! How does this thing work? Help! Guys, can you tell me? Help! Stop freaking out. Is that Valentino? Is that Jeb's girlfriend? Yes, it is. <laughs> I just deem Valentino's Jeb's girlfriend because she's just as crazy as him. She's on the same drugs. And then I can just open this up. We'll just slow it down like crazy. Uh, uh, probably. I mean, it should. What happens if I open this one? This could go horribly wrong. Oh, no! Uh-oh. Um, bye. I just want to fly around in it for a little while, just to get used to it, and also make sure that certain things are not breaking. I mean, that obviously breaks, but I wasn't supposed to open that. Why do I keep hearing the sea jumping out of the sky? Wait, no, that doesn't make sense. The, ski the sea's on the sea. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Come on. I know I'm low. It's because I'm a skillful pilot. Oh, God! Go up, go up! Mayday! That plane changes direction faster than any plane I've ever seen. Okay, so I have doubled the amount of engines I have on this thing to also make it more powerful now, and hopefully that's going to be better. Like, this thing does work even without SAS on. Like, it's pretty good without it. Ah! Oh, SAS! Help me! Oh. oh, that was terrifying. Don't do that again. You know, one thing I never do in my videos is land the things. I always crash them. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm not going to smash into the tower like I was just five seconds ago. That's what I was going to do. Uh, we're going to try and land it. Oh my god, this thing's really quick. 
It's got like vapor crap coming off it. Oh, please go up. Oh, fucking hell. This is me flying this after all. Captain. Ah! Go down, go down, go down, go down, down. Oh, yes. My. Oh, no, I'm drifting. I'm drifting in the plane. Oh, fuck. Oh, we lost a wing. Jump. Jump, Bob. Bob exploded. Jump. Is that Valentina? Valentina, you boss! How the fuck did you survive that? Yeah, look at that. Now that looks now that looks like it was built by a professional. Wouldn't you agree? <laughs> well I snapped its neck in half. I should probably do it with the snap-on tool and adult supervision. Okay, so now we're on to building the little plane that I'm gonna put inside here. However, I am not gonna build it as this. I'm gonna call this. Oh god, what am I going to call this? The Mountain Mark 1. Because it's almost as big as one. Yes. That is what we're going to call it. The Mountain... Mountain... The... Jesus. The Mountain Mark 1. Yeah. And then I'm going to start all over again. And build the tiny little plane. And then merge the two together and put it inside it. So, we're just going to make it as small as humanly possible. So, using the Mark 1 pieces basically. Now, how do we want to go about doing this? So I can make this probably in a matter of five seconds. So let's do this, let's do this, let's do this. See how quick I can actually build a plane that works. Alright, and we're going to call this thing the grasshopper. Yeah. All one word, grasshopper. Why? Because it just, I don't know. It just felt like it fitted. And what we're going to do is we're not going to add wheels to this thing. And you might wonder, well, how the hell are you going to get it out of there? I'm thinking we use physics. Which is dangerous when I use it. And what we're going to do is hopefully, if it's, if it's long enough, if it will work, what we're going to do is add runners inside here that it sort of sits on and then a decoupler. So what we do is we undecouple it, like we start up its engine, undecouple it, and then it will slide along the runners out of the door. I hope that will work, because that would just be the best thing ever. <laughs> I don't know, though. I don't know. I'm scared. I'm not going to lie. My confidence is less. Um. <laughs> oh, man. What have I done? I, d I, I doubt this little thing's even going to fly. Like, I d I Valentina, you're the crazy one. You can go in there. Right. So it's on a docking thing. So hopefully when I get it ready, it will do that. Those pistons won't be, you know, massively in the way. Actually, I don't even think they are in the way. And these wings will be big enough to take this thing off. I don't hold out much hope. <laughs> okay. Here we go. Maiden voyage. I am terrified of this thing not working. Uh, we're also going to open the ramp door. So I know... No, 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 no. Don't activate the back... Oh, I'm getting antsy. I'm pressing all the wrong things. Okay. That plane in the back is sort of jolting a bit, which isn't good. Okay. Just got to keep an eye on it. I want to be on an... I want to be climbing slightly. I do want to be climbing, but not by a lot. That seems to be steady. Okay. So, what we're going to do... Oh, dear God. Right, control from here. Can't grab it. Alright, control from here. Oh no! Uh oh! That was bad, I shouldn't have done that! Decouple node. It's fallen. Oh, of course it's fallen, because the wings ain't in the right place. Uh oh. That's not good. Okay, so now... Valentina, here we go! Come on, you crazy. Let's go! Oh, this is cool. Oh god! No! I need a wheel at the front. That's what I need. I need a wheel at the front. Just to give it its first initial thing. Oh, God! Valentina, get out! It's gonna blow! Oh! She's still alive. It's all good. We've got her. We've got her. We've got her. <laughs> she's still good. I've got her. Where is she? There she is. She's in the back. Open limit. Bye, Valentina! She got ejected! 
<laughs> Valentina, no! Well, that was a flop. Okay, so, I have been faffing around with the little grasshopper. I've completely rebuilt it, and I've slightly learned how to use the infernal robotic stuff to fold up the wings. Now, it's using this thing, which is still quite confusing to me, but I'm not even going to explain how I did it, because I'm not sure how I did it. <laughs> so, I'm just going to leave it at that, and we're going to try this once again. Actually, I've just realised there's not a Kerbal in here, is there? Valentina, in you can jump. Need to make sure there's a Kerbal in there. Right, so, I think we are good. I have tested it on the runway just to see if it works, and it did. So let's hope this bad boy is going to fly. Okay, here we go. Take a million. Uh, <laughs> I moved this wheel back because I was thinking that if this one gets lifted off the ground, that means it's being pulled up slightly, so maybe it'll take off. However, I'm not sure because now this is just touching the ground. That's not really how it works. Is it? Oh my god, no, it did. Oh, I just had to tilt it forward a bit. Oh, okay. So we're going to go up to about a thousand-ish. We're going to on our way up there. We're going to open the door. And as you can see, the wheel comes down. And now we're ready to go. Okay, Valentina, you're absolutely ecstatic of what you're about to do. So, what we do is first we spool up the engine. So I've activated that engine now, as you can kind of tell, because of all the smoke. That's also heating that up, which is kind of bad. That's not kind of what that was for. That was to stop it rolling backwards, but whatever. Is this engine not powerful enough? Oh, God. I don't think the engine's powerful enough. Fire! Whoa! <laughs> oh, my God, that worked. Drop the wings. Drop the wings. Drop the wings. Drop the wings. Yes! That's terrifying me. Help! Come here, guys. I'm coming. Slow down, you buggers. Slow down. Slow down. Slow down. Slow down. Slow down. Oh, God. Am I, am I not in control of this? Oh, here we go. Right, let's throttle down a bit. And Valentina just went screaming past. No, 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 no. That's not how I wanted that to go. Hang on. Can I just do a backflip? Maybe if I turn the other engine on. Woohoo! This is the best thing you guys have ever told me. I want to open up the rear door and see if I can fly straight through it. Or st Well, no, that's not going to happen. This will be an amazing feat. Here we go. <laughs> Where are you, Valentina? Here we go. Here we go. The most ridiculously ambitious thing I'm ever trying. It would be easier if this plane would handle properly. I can't get it back in. Oh, I can't go back. It's too... It's too small. The plane is tiny. Said no one. Ever. I really wish I knew how to make this missile better, but I don't. I really don't. Without making it larger. And that's obviously not going to fit in the thing. However, it does fly. It just very badly. RCS! <gasps> RCS would be beautiful. That'll work. Just put some RCS on that bit, and that bit. Yes! That's what we're gonna do. Right, we're ready! This is it. This is the final go. Oh, we're actually moving already. Oh, no. Go! I'm so looking forward to actually getting this thing to work again. I've had it work successfully once. No more after that. If anything, this is something that's actually useful because I could use it in, like, later challenges. Oh, I didn't even touch anything and it took off. I wasn't touching anything. I'm not complaining. I'm not complaining. Okay, so here we go. I'm going to have it leveled out a little bit more than I had before. Because then it won't fall back onto this thing. I've also given it this to try and help it stay on the runners a bit easier. But that may cause us more issues than it solved. Um... <laughs> So if we press 2 now to open up the cargo bay door, we will be able to see that the wheel went down, didn't it? Yes. We need to do our pre-launch checks. That's how it works. Number th 4, which is to start up that engine. The engine is now going. Number 3, we'll decouple it. Then we select Valentina. Then we hit number 7 to fire the big, big orange-blue flame of death. And switch. I think I killed Valentina. No, I didn't. I just broke it. 
Uh oh. Um. Why doesn't it work? It only works sometimes. Which isn't very good. That's not a high success rate. Open up the back door. That's what it's for. To squeeze out a Kerbal. Come on. Jesus. This isn't a sight you'd want to see, is it? Oh, God. I'm falling. Where am I? Ah! <laughs> I'm going to fall out. I've only got one wing. <laughs> I've only got one wing. No, no, no. I'm, I'm hanging on. I'm hanging on. Yes. Here we go. Here we go. It's like a worm. Activate the engine. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Okay, we're okay. We're okay. We've already got... How are we okay? How am I still flying? How is Valentina not dead? Uh, I'm like I'm like flying around in a miniature pencil. Come on! I don't know how it's still in the air. Does it even need wings? <laughs> I'm starting to wonder whether it even needs wings. Let's go! I want to crash into it. Come here. Uh oh, oh! I shut the engine off. This is worse than half the planes I've ever built. And that's saying something. Come on. However, I've got the worst and the best. All in one all in one video. <laughs> that's the best plane I've ever built. And this is the worst. Will that make it better? Oh, here we go! No! <laughs> I'm like desperate to crash into it. Just to, just as a big one last hurrah. Come on. Valentina, make yourself useful. Aim at the bloody thing and hit it. Come on. This is like the smallest target I've ever tried to hit in my life. Come on! This is harder when I tried to dock that one time in space, which was the hardest thing in the world. Come on. I got this. Come on! No! Please hit it! I've been trying to hit this thing for like 15 minutes now. It's not happening. What are you doing? Go up! Go up! Valentina, no! How is that moving? What the hell? Valentina apparently crashed in the air. And on that day, Valentina was murdered. Well, there we are, everyone. That was the cargo plane Airbus challenge thing. I really didn't expect this thing to work. Considering it's basically two planes in one, technically. It's got a fuselage of one plane and a fuselage of another. But somehow this thing works. But, hey, it is probably the best plane I've ever built. So in this video, I built the best plane I've ever built and the crappiest plane I've ever built. That's quite a feat. I'm quite happy with it. And I've also killed Valentina, but we'll gloss over that. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed watching me try and achieve something that I've just made incredibly difficult. That it's actually quite a simple thing to do. But hey, that's, that's kind of what I do. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys soon. Stay tuned. Stay awesome. Goodbye.